Hey, what's going on guys? Your boy Tucci over here. Today we got a cool show. Today we got an amazing show. Um, today we're gonna honor the great Captain Sully. If you haven't heard of him, if you haven't seen the movie, highly recommend check it out. It's, it's an amazing story. It's an amazing story for me who wants to be a pilot. This guy is the role model for pilots. This is who each pilot that dreams to be a pilot this is what they dream of. This is who they want to become. Um, Miracle of the Hudson. This guy, uh, there's just there's a lot of things. Where where do I begin? Um, full name is uh, Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger III. He was born in 1951. Um, he actually attended the Air Force Academy as well. We were talking about uh, Captain John McCain a while back. Uh, a lot of these guys attending the Air Force Academy, a very prestigious school, a very prestigious program. Um, he was actually one out of one out of, one out of uh, I believe twelve candidates that were chosen for the flyer program um, back at the Air Force Academy. Um, military service again. He was um, he started with the, with the Air Force Academy and it was the class of nineteen seventy three. He started in June nineteen sixty nine. Again, he was selected along with uh, about a dozen other freshmen to actually did not the flyer program. It's called the glider program. So that's that's very awesome, oh, man. That's that's amazing. Uh, obviously, if there was only a couple of people selected, it's because it's most likely a hard program to get into, you know. Um, but let's talk about the miracle of the Hudson. So. What what amazes me is that you know airplanes they're designed to all right they'll they'll run on one engine they'll they'll be fine they're designed to and they're also designed to glide which is amazing for these sort of situations but what happened this day um, as they were taking off it was I believe flight U.S. Airways it was U.S. Airways uh, let me see if I can find oh flight fifteen forty nine. So as they were taking off, uh, flying over the city of New York, um, they were struck by a flock of geese. And it was a huge flock. Pause. Um, but if you don't know, if you don't know about airplane engines, one little speck, one little coin, one little tiny fragment, something that small will destroy the whole engine because you got these fans these blades spinning so fast that you know some little object will hit the engine and it will just destroy the whole thing because it's just a smooth operation in the engine so the fact that a whole flock of geese hit both engines is just amazing to think that someone would even know what to do at that point again you know uh, one engine you might be fine Two engines, again, the airplane's designed to glide, but at the same time, no one's, you know, this is what they train you for. This is what every pilot fears. But what amazes me is if you hear the cockpit voice recorded, this guy, he was so calm. He was, air control kept telling him like, hey, you need to do this. Uh, no, he, he knew right there, no, I'm not going to make it. For example, I, I think they gave him a couple alternate routes to go to, and he knew he knew right there and there, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to make those. Um, so what he did is, all right, he got hit by this flock of geese. Both engines were down. Both uh, engines suffered contained engine failures. Uh, you know, they basically blew up. Uh, so there's no power. This airplane's gliding, just gliding. And then he's, I'm sure he's thinking of all these scenarios inside his head. And finally, he sees the Hudson River and one of the pilot's worst fears to do what's called a ditch, you know, land in the water. And so he knew right then and then that's what he had to do. Um, he, again, he told uh, ATC, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make these alternate routes. Um, bring it out to a ditch. And so, and you got to think of this. When you ditch, it's going to be so perfect. You got to glide it so perfect because... Uh, if you check out this video, um, it was, I think, Ethiopian Airlines. I forgot the flight number, but 
they tried to ditch and it tilted, the airplane tilted to the side a little bit. And once it hit the water, this airline flipped, cartwheeled in the water. Scary thing. I would check it out again. Uh, I'm going to look it up. I'm, I'm going to look up the flight number so I can put it on the description. But I know it's Ethiopian Airlines. Uh, it was a, something about a, a hijacking. But anyway, so you have to be so perfect. Otherwise, the ditching is not going to be... It's not going to be... It really is not going to be smooth at all. But... Uh, to make it as perfect and as smooth as possible, the landing, the ditching has to be so perfect. You have to land so perfect, both engines, both wings, both sides, touchdown at the same time. And this is what this guy did. He saved all the lives on his airplane. I believe, um, let's see, I, I can't, uh, 155 people survived because of this guy. They lived. Um, I'm gonna post a picture on the thumbnail and uh, you'll, you'll be able to see it But everyone survived, you know, the only the, the thing is they got out and the waters it was just, this was during uh, I believe it was winter time and Blue the water, you know, especially New York Yeah, it's cold. It's gonna be freezing. It's gonna kill you if you you know fall in the water But everybody survived, you know it's such an amazing story. It's so amazing that someone can remain so calm. Someone could do all this. And he was, I mean, check out the movie. Check out Sully. It's uh, it's very, very on point with the, with the story. And um, the FAA and the NTSB, you know, the National Transportation Safety Board, they put this guy under a lot of scrutiny because they thought that he could make these alternate routes. And he knew he... It was almost second nature, and knowing that he was not going to make it, he did the right thing. I mean, read the story, look at the videos. I know there's a video somewhere. Uh, if you look it up, I might be able to post a link um, where it actually shows a security camera catching the airplane landing in the Hudson. So again, real hero, guys, real hero, real amazing person, Captain Sully. Um, just a couple of things he did receive bunch of awards uh including he was in time magazine he was in the 100 most influential people of that year i believe yeah most influential heroes and icons of 2009 i mean that alone is wow uh master's medal from the guild of air pilots and air navigators uh key to the city of new york of course outstanding cadet airmanship and jabara award from the United States Air Force Academy. It doesn't get better than this, guys. This guy, I pray to God I can be like him one day. I mean, when you go to flight school, especially with all the things that have happened, you know, it's really, they train you for everything. They train you for the least one in a billion thing that might happen. They train you for all that. And this is one of them. And this guy, he knew what to do. He didn't hesitate. He was calm. This is one of those things where you you listen to stories about people calling 911 and they tell you to remain calm. This guy's a perfect example of what they mean. Because why? Because you can think. I, I honestly don't know how, how he did it. Uh, you know. I really don't. But... Again, Captain Chesley Sullenberger, guys, check him out. I'm going to post a picture of him. Such an amazing, such an amazing guy, such an amazing person. It's, it's unbelievable that people like this even exist. You know, when the world gets dark and cold and you really want to, I guess you could say, give up on humanity. It's people like this. It's people like this that just give you hope. So this is it. That's that's what I got for today's guy. Uh, guys, sorry, guys and gals. Uh, flight 1549. I'm going to post it in the description as well. Um, but this is a great story of inspiration, survival, and heroism. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my family. I love you guys. Uh, my boys. And um, the wifey there in California for... They're visiting the family, so I want to give them a shout-out. I love you guys. You guys keep me going. 
and to all my fans, of course. Your boy Tucho out.